Welcome back, I am Mislid. This is, once again, the Binding of Isaac, Wrath of the Lamb. We are going to random. We're not going to do Eve. Because we've already done Eve. Maggie, okay. We've already beat Blue Baby with Blue Baby, Judas, and Eve, which is why I re-rolled Eve. Not just because I don't like Eve, but actually because we don't need to win with Eve. It's just not one of the things we need to do. I cannot believe I dodged into both of those shots. That is embarrassing. But the treasure room's right here. We got a penny out of getting shot twice, so that's, you know, something. Oh, look at this. We have Cupid's arrow piercing shots. I say, oh, look at this, because, I mean, this is an extremely rare item. I don't know why it's extremely rare, but it is. I mean, like, I get, you know, mom's knife more than I get this thing. So, piercing shots, your shots go through enemies to hit, you know, other enemies. They pierce, as it were. I don't have any bombs to get to that. I don't have enough money to make going to the um, shop worthwhile. And let's go to curse room. Got a heart. Um, yeah, okay. Let's take Guppy's tail. Oh, uh, we're gonna lose our heart. Oh, dang, gone it. Let's spend a penny. Yes, spend a penny, get a penny. Spend another penny, get a bomb. Get a bomb. Get two pennies. Get a bomb. Get a bomb. No. Okay. Be like that then. I should have left that. Um, I was not thinking. I should have left my spirit heart in there. Then gone when I came back. Picked it up. Oh well. That is what we get for not playing optimally. We have Grey Monstro here. So I just saw this morning a post by Edmund McMiller over on Tumblr. Edmund McMiller. Edmund McMillan. Um, the creator of Binding of Isaac for the one person here who doesn't know that. And he was saying some random things that people might not know about um, Isaac. And they were all about where... Does this one not jump? Like, what in the world's going on here? Okay. Um, about, like, where enemies came from and stuff. And he was saying that the original plan was that every boss would be some kind of variation of Isaac. Like, the original idea for Gertie was going to be that Gertie was a stack of dead Isaacs. But he did it and it looked weird, so... It looked confusing, I think was what the words in the Tumblr post say. So he didn't do it. Oh, I don't have any bombs, so there's no point sticking around this floor. Let's go down. Well, that was interesting. He didn't mention where a bunch of the other enemies come from, and they're mostly from other games. Um, knights are from Zelda. The goo uh, guys that chase you around and, like, that you shoot and they become little uh, oozes. I don't know what the real names are. I call them oozes. Those are from Red Skeletons in uh, Castlevania 2. There are actually several enemies from Castlevania 2. I mean, they are, you know, inspired by. They're not the exact enemies, of course. Because I think we would notice if there were the exact enemies in here. Oh, I don't like this room at all. We're going to take damage. Yep. But what you going to do? We got a bomb back. So let's go in here. Spend a bomb to get a bomb in a tender rock. That seems fair. I was hoping for more out of it than that one bomb, though. That is not very useful. I'm just happy with it, though. I'm so don't worry. Don't get me wrong. I'm still happy to have had it. I would like this curse room to have something good in it. Of course it doesn't. Of course it doesn't. Then I'm going to use my heart. Then I'm going to leave. And I'm going to spend a bomb to get it out of here instead of... Instead of doing whatever else I might have done. What? You're kidding me. Let's blow it up. Got a key. That is good. Since we could always use more keys. Maybe not always. We could usually use more keys, especially early game. Especially when our last few games have gone. Where it's just been like, nope, you don't get keys for anything. Don't kill me. Thank you. Thank you all for dying to the piercing shot. The problem with piercing shot is I forget a half piercing shot. And of course, it's useless against one enemy, right? And it doesn't pierce uh, poop. 
but it is handy versus a bunch of small enemies who are in a row, lined up in a row for us like that spiders were. That is very happy. That's what we got. We got the game kid. Do I want the game kid over the yum heart? Um, yes. Yes, yes, I think I do. I think I do. There are a couple of places our super secret room might be. We've only got one bomb, so we're not going to look for them. Because that seems like a waste of bombs. They could be off those rooms to the right. Hey, Pen. How are you? Pen is a super easy boss. I'm going to waste my game kit on him. You just walk around, shoot him when you can. We've got piercing shots, so if we can get lined up with him, we will do a lot of damage. Because any of the enemies you can shoot through. Um, piercing is very good for Pen, for Chad, for Chubb, Larry Jr., any of the enemies with long bodies. Because it, the game counts as, as separate um, as separate pieces. So if you can hit piercing shot from the front, you actually hit him like four times in one shot. Which is pretty nice. Um, man, early on, yeah, all right, give me, give me a lot of hearts for that. Do I want to just roll with up his paw? Kind of, kind of want to roll up his paw. Let's do that. Let's risk it. Let us risk it. I, was hearing, I think it was during the uh, Northern Lion interview with Evan McMillan. He was saying that, oh, good. He was saying, oh, come on, I don't want another... I want another room already. All right, we're going to carry the tarot card around and probably come back with his paw. Because, I mean, Gubby's paw doesn't need to be charged, so there's no point carrying it around with you until you need it. Anyway, uh, Edmund Mill was saying that originally his idea for Gubby's paw is that it was something you would carry around with you. It wasn't supposed to be like everybody uses it, which is a, you know, pick it up once and dump it. You know, use it to get a bunch of hearts and dump it, you know. Which is part of the reason I think he was saying he's going to make it so that, um... Oh, so we can hit three of these guys at one time, that's nice. As far as he's going to make it so that your hearts cap out of 12. Because then you can't use up his paw to get, you know, 40 hearts at a time. You would have to... See how easy that room was with piercing shot? You would have to, um, you know, get up to 12 hearts with your guppy's paw. Carry it around with you. And then when you need more hearts, more red heart, or more spirit hearts, you would just use it then. Five, no. Let's ignore that for time being. I need more charges on my... Who's a what's it? You heard me. Because I kind of do want to carry... Oh, come on now, stop. I need more damage. What I need, good grief. I need some more damage for Maggie. If I could get... Whoops. Don't, don't. Don't murder me. Oh, good, that worked. So his idea was obviously that you would carry it around with you all of the time. And it basically would take your space as a take your spot as a spacebar item. And you just wouldn't have the opportunity to use anything else because you were carrying around a way to get extra health when you needed it. Oh gertie. Gertie, 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 gertie. gertie. So we'll shoot through here. Oh, come on, dude. I was doing so well there. Okay, I gotta kill this guy in here. He's in my way. You need to die. Thank you. Okay, now I can do my rotation correctly. Where we wait for him to put his hands up, then we duck down. Piercing shots are helping us kill the um, fly guys. Even though we're shooting at, you know, at Gertie's huge self, that was just slow reaction on my part. My bad. And of course, Eve is, I mean, Eve. Madeline's slow. So, you know, Madeline apparently broke her um, leg earlier in life and has never really recovered from it. She walks with a slight limp, slows her down a little bit. She doesn't like to talk about it, though, because, I mean, you know, kids teach her for that kind of thing. And who wants to hear about that? Because kids are cruel. So she hides it. She didn't talk about it much, she's, but she's a little bit slower. And apparently we have... Oh my goodness, we're doing so little damage. Come on. But hey, it's working. We're doing it, so... 
We haven't hit in a while. It's just, you know, the same dirty fights. Nope. And we spin around and blah, 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 blah. So I'm hoping to charge up our um, cards here, see what we get. I'm kind of hoping for a, a health up so I can go use Gertie's. Gertie's. So I can go use the, um... What is this? The stars. I don't need the stars. Alright, let's pop the spades. Um, let's... I want to take... Man. Let's take... Shoot. I don't want to do this. Let's take the cards with us. Let's take the, um, yeah, cards with us. I guess. I kind of just want to walk back to them. Let's pop the stars card, because it's, you know, right here. Guardian Angel is some defense, which is not exactly what I was after, but, you know, hey. I'll take it. And these guys are way too fast. A piercing Shot should do well with them. If I could hit anything. Come on, dude, come back here. Stop running away from me. You make me start playing dangerously. I'm gonna start getting close to you, and then I'm gonna get hit, and then I'm gonna get mad at myself. I wasn't taking precautions to not, you know, get shot in the face by you guys. You may release a fly, and I'm not happy about that ever. All right, would you just? There, there we go. Good grief. Good grief. Health up. All right. Don't get hit. Thank you. So of course we maybe should have taken, um, Gubby's paw with us now. Now we're getting health ups out of random chest. Whoops, gotta get away from all that. But, maybe we can have some health up. We can go to a devil room and actually get a, um... Good deal with the devil. Could use a brimstone, use a pentagram. Could use flight. Could always use flight. Spirit of the Night would be handy. I would use... I would take the uh, Horror of Abalon. Would be nice. If I could afford it. I can't afford it right now. It usually takes two hearts, I believe, to get that. Oh, whoa, 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 now. Stand here in the middle so they can't hit me. Good, 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 good. Okay. And we're too far away from the guys at the bottom, so they won't shoot me. So that's nice of them. Again, this guy won't be able to hit me because he has a split shot. And he's too dumb to just move to the side where the spikes be in my way. Whoa, now. No, stop jumping around. Stop jumping around. Thank you. Thank you for stop jumping around. Thank you for listening for once, greed head. I uh, appreciate it. Uh, two... Take two bombs to get there. We don't have two bombs. Take our only bomb to get that key. I don't like that deal either. Don't like that deal either. We'll probably go in this uh, mob trap room, if we can. And fight stuff in there. Yes, we can. For a tears up to fight bosses. Okay. Alright. Hey, Monstro. I murdered you once. Murdered your cousin, I guess. He was a gray monstro. This is happy, happy jumping monstro, apparently. That's cool. I like happy jumping monstro. He is fairly straightforward. Just wait for him to lock in and shoot at you, then duck around to the side. Oh, or jump and just move. There you go. Now move. Hi there. He's gonna jump. No big deal. Just wait for his little animation and get out of the way pretty straightforward. His shots look crazy, but I mean, you can kind of ignore how they look crazy. Just know the way he's facing is the way they're going. So for the most part, I mean, sometimes a random one will hit you, but don't worry about the weird 3D effect thing too much. Because for the most part, it's okay. And as I said earlier, having um, piercing shot with Larry is a great. You can hit all the pieces at once. So you can hit him straight on. And that ate them. That was worthless. What we got here? Telepills. Ah, well. Saved us taking half a heart of damage from going out the door, so I, mean, I guess that's okay. Troll bomb. That this room sucks a lot. Oh my goodness gracious. I don't want to kill this fly. I have so little damage, though. So that room really went so awfully that I accidentally killed two enemies because I was missing so many regular shots. I would say I was hitting and they were piercing through, but that's not true. I was just missing. Let's see what here font to make up for that room. I appreciate it. 
Um, I did not mean to use a key there. Let's go inside so it's going on. Oh, it's greed. All right. I guess it's okay. We only got four cents. Might as well, you know, fight greed, get some money. Since I accidentally used, um, uh, of course, now he's taking all our money. So if we get hit, it won't take any more money back from us. I guess that's positive. I'm getting hit way too much. And your health is gone, greed. Don't you just effing die? That is my biggest pet peeve in this entire game. If you can't tell, if you can't tell, having enemies that help, whose health is gone and they just don't die gets on my nerves greatly. That's all right. It is all right. We have found the rooms we care about. Uh, so let's... We only got two bombs. We might go back and play that judgment. Um, I should have to get to him. Oh. This will give us flying. Assuming I don't, you know, manage to die somehow. Like I'm trying to do here, apparently. Oh, good grief. We have good range. We have piercing tears. We don't do any damage whatsoever. That's not a huge deal yet. Um, piercing, you know, piercing shots is kind of making up for our damage a little bit whenever we can get lined up with both of them. So that's nice. Our range is definitely helping with got this fool throwing pulls. I don't know what he's throwing. I don't know. As soon as that pulls of blood at us, that's kind of like the strangest thing because they explode. So I don't think I understand very well. Let's take the pony, because I like flight. Of course it's Krampus. I should have taken the terror cards in here to charge it up. I didn't send me how much charge I had, though. Was it to the point where one more charge would have done it? I don't know. If I was, then I should have been here with that. But, I think pony gives you a, does pony give you a speed up? No, we got a belt, didn't we, earlier. Pony's not give us a speed up, because I do look like I'm faster than I was even a minute ago. Krampus, you are throwing up a lot, and it's bothering me some, like way too much. You should be doing this more. Triple shot, quad shot. Stop doing that all the time. Oh, that was, I knew that was coming. Knew it was coming! That's okay, we can do this. We got our flight, we got Garden Angel, we got piercing shots. We have no damage whatsoever, though, which is kind of depressing. But no damage just means you have to dodge a lot. That's all. She got some speed, got some dodging skills. You can get by with no damage. It can be done. It just makes, as you see, really long fights. It's kind of annoying. And, you know, of course, it means you can make no mistakes. Because. If you're making a mistake a minute and your fight's now taking three minutes instead of one minute, then that's a lot of extra health you are losing. Lump of Coal is a damage up essentially. Our first trinket in the matchstick. Um, okay, I do want to see. Okay, we're only halfway here. We're going to take the pony. Oh, we don't need to use our bombs to get back to judgment now. Excellent. Excellent. Or this pill. Tell pills. I don't really care about that. Get that key. And let's play the beggar for a minute. Play the beggar. That doesn't sound right at all. Got some more health in case we can ever find a, another devil room that'll give us something for two hearts. Just play this. We could just play this for a minute. There we go. Got some monies. All right. And is that all we need? That's all we need. Let's get out of here. Let us run away from this floor and take our flight with us. Oh, look at that heart. There we go. Now it's got to here. Oh, I should take a tell pill. Dag on it. Dag on it. It's too happy with getting our extra cash. Oh. Let's hide here. Piercing shot. Normally these guys, like when you hurt them, they bounce out of the way. And it's really bad because they bounce behind something. And then the next guy starts taking your shots. And it's just a cycle. It's awful. Piercing shots helps out a lot, as you see, because you can just hit all of them in one big go, and it's lovely. Piercing shots also means you can hit knights from the front, which may be its biggest benefit of all. I'm not sure if that works for um, the Mask of Infamy boss, but if we find it, we will check. 
So between piercing shots and lump of coal, these rooms will be simple. Lump of coal giving us more damage the farther our tiers go, of course. So we have excellent... How far is our range? We have full room range, so that's fantastic. We don't have special tiers, which I keep thinking we do. I keep... Sometimes I mix those up. Not that I mix them up, is that I think special piercing shots gives you spectral tears. Because I'm like, hey, it's piercing through the rock. That makes sense, doesn't it? Maybe? No? Okay. Maybe it doesn't. But I was going to pretend it did. Let's see if we got a secret room down here. Nah, yeah, we do. What's in it? What is in it? Six cents is not exactly what I wanted because I've got, I had 24 cents already. But hey, now I can afford two 15 cent items. So that's good. It's always good. Try to get these guys on one side of the map so that you can shoot piercing tears through them. Always a good idea. Oh, bleepers. Okay, I'm not playing well, apparently. Apparently I've forgotten how to play this game. All right, so we have a shop. Let's see what's in it. It's not greed because we had greed last time. Let's take the battery. Steps one. Um, let's take the heart. Let's take the bomb too. Let's take the bomb too. My thinking is we're on depths one. We've only got one shop after this, which is probably going to be greed anyway. So this is a thirteen cents. We'll be able to have. It'll give us. If we can get two cents, we can get back into a fifteen cent item. I bought the battery because you always buy the battery. Um, the idea there being, which is kind of a long shot, but the idea being that you um, we get we get something for flying out of the devil room, and then we get um, another spacebar item to replace the pony with. Because other than that, I mean the pony. I mean, I guess it's okay that we have faster charging on our pony special. We don't use the pony special hardly ever. Because it's not very good. Come on, beggar. Help me out. I'm supposed to be helping you, but that's not how this works in this game. In this game, I give you money so you can buy booze, and you give me power-ups. Huh? That you have probably, you know, collected over the years and then fixed up. Oh. Oh. Book of Revelation with a battery over flight. Oh. Let's roll, let's roll Book of Revelations. I'm not sure this is a smart idea. Um, I still need to find... Where's the... There it is. Okay. A minute ago, I was like, why am I walking around this floor? But no, it's because the we haven't found the uh, shop yet. I knew I wasn't just crazy and ignoring that ball stream for no good reason. Okay, so we have another heart. We have a money bag, which is not um, useful at all. Uh, let's go in here, open this. What are these pills? These pills are balls of steel. Fantastic. So we have two balls of steel pills. I know you're saying you should use the pill to get back out, but I don't want to... Because Telepilson gives the I am error room, and I do want to fight this boss and get whatever the item is and get a possible deal with the devil. Because if I get a deal with the devil, I have two hearts, which I'm sure is what he would want. Or something. We might could make use of you know that. Of course, because we use Book of Revelations, we have a much higher chance of getting this punk. Oh. I keep forgetting he doesn't work like famine. Like he, no matter where he goes out, he always comes across the top first. I cannot believe I let myself get hit there. But hey, it moved the bomb. So battery trying to help us out, trying to get some more charge on our on our book revelations. There, there we go. Maggie is usually slow. We have the belt, so I believe we are the exact same speed as War, which is you know uh, good, I guess. It's better than being slower than war. Because that is a good way to get hit like four times in one fight. 
We got a charge on our book. We got a cube of meat. We got a devil room. With the worst devil room items in it I've ever seen. Do I want to spend a heart for other Bobby anyway? It is damage up. Um, it's only one heart. It is damage up. Let's do it. Okay. We're going to treat that like a straight damage up, because that's kind of what it is. Pop telepills. Okay, didn't help us any. You have to risk it, though, because it may have given us the air room. And the air room gives you, like, pills and an item and, you know, all kinds of junk. It does. I wasn't clear on it earlier. The air room, you can't leave it unless you have another, a second telepill or a second teleport item. So you use, like, telepills to get in there, then the teleport space for item to get out. It does have a trap door in it, so you have to leave from there. Like, you can't, um... So once you get in there, if you, you know, you go into the next floor from there, so you can't do the, uh, boss room for that floor, if you haven't already done it. That was my hesitation for not trying the pills earlier, in case that happens. We have death and a penny. A penny. A slot machine I'd kind of want to go to, but not really. Okay, so I need to get some, there we go, get some distance in here. Murder all the things, open this. Some more speed, okay, more speed for Maggie is good. That's a shop. Let's go in our shop. Of course it's greed again. Of course our last shop had greed in it. I said that last time, didn't I? That our last shop probably had greed in it. Because I'm psychic. Gave us the worst item we could possibly get from him, because there are no shops after this. So that's atrocious. See if the compass is in here. Oh, okay, I might come back for that. I need another key, though. Need another key. He killed himself on spikes, so that sure didn't hurt him that bad that quickly. Um, I... Okay. <laughs> might start waiting to even get that? I don't think so. So we will leave... We will look for more keys. I need a secret room, not secret room. Item room, of course. Then there's this room. That's an interesting layout. This should be much easier than normal because of piercing shots with a lump of coal. Mostly piercing shots with a lump of coal, but I mean, lump of coal is also doing its work. As you can see. So we'll then wander around, kill off these guys from a distance, as always. Nothing special. Ignore that penny, because it's just one penny. Try not to, okay. Try to hit the edges just right. I think I hit him at all when I was underneath him there, did I? Oh, my, don't come down here. Dang on it. How did you bounce down when I was shooting you from the bottom? That is not how physics works. It's just not how physics works at all. Okay. I don't like any of this room. There are way too many guys. And there's a giant hole in the of the room. And I don't like it. I like it now. Because you're all dead. Oh, we got reflection. You are kidding me. Reflection is garbage. We do have full width, though. Reflection... No, that still gives that gives us half distance. That's a uh, reflection can be interesting once you if you have full width shots. I and we've way too many places our secret room could be. I'm going to arcade. I'm gonna try this again. Again, I'm going to try to get some keys. Last episode, I had to cut out like five minutes. Of, like seriously, it was four or five minutes of recording because I could not get keys out of this thing. And I spent like $47 on all kinds of mess. Okay, we're going to use our this right here to get us down to where the every hit now should give us the portal of invincibility. We cannot pick up red hearts. I'm sure I will. I'm not even wrong. I'm sure it's going to happen. We're going to get red hearts. But don't want to. Don't want to pick up red hearts. There we go, got some keys. Might as well spend the last five cents here, because why not? Don't want the left hand. Don't want that fly. Could use those bombs though. 
Those would be nice. Yes, thank you. Three bombs. That's nice. This this one is paying out much better than the one last game did. And one last game. Oh, yeah. Okay, I guess I'll leave that heart too. I suppose. Did you give me a heart? No, you punk. Just blow up all you. All your, you and your friends. Alright, we might as well use that. Hit that. Pick that back up. Get a penny. Get a penny. Get a bomb. Alright, let's go fight a boss. I... Reflex, man, I'm telling you. Reflex says, pick up those red hearts. Had to be like, no, don't pick up the red hearts. All right, let's head on over here. Ignore the other rooms, other other whatever other stuff these rooms have for us. We don't care. Do not care. I do care about this room, though. I don't care anymore about this room. Now I wish I hadn't come down here. But hey, that's what happens. That is what happens. Hopefully these, I, these enemies won't be bad, though. We got leapers, so that's not good. Well, it's an open room, and I walked into them. So the problem with this room, of course, with leapers, is that you... I thought I was still being invincible while I ran into him. So one thing that's really nice with forward invincibility is that you can um, then run into enemies because I've got Cuban Meat and Garden Angel. And they do a pretty good amount of damage. You know, if anything's gonna actually just run into you. Okay, let's see if we can. Can we just run it? Okay. Hi, Mom. How are you and your cankles? How old, oh, Blue Mom? Okay. So that's not wonderful. But hey. So we're gonna stand right here. There we go. Stand here and shoot this to the side. And hopefully those enemies over there just ignore us a little bit. There we go. We're gonna stand here and try to be innocuous. Oh, maybe not. Alright, I need to kill some stuff. Nope, maybe hit again, aren't I? Yes, thank you, Mom. Thank you for murdering what was giving me the most problems in this game. Stand here safe from the foot. Murdering all the things. We've already got the Polaroid, so that's not useful. We will take a Tears Up into Spirit Hearts, because that is infinitely useful. And let's go. Down to the womb. The utero, even. I, uh, I think two games I've done that, too. Thought I had it. And it was like, nope. You got nothing. Nope. What? Come on, now. So I can get Nun's Habit, that'd be great. I don't want that. I want a compass. That'd be great. That's what I really want. I take a map as well. I'd rather have the compass than the map. But I would be yes. But I'd be happy with either. That's what I'm trying to say here. I definitely have a preference, but not so much I'd be upset if I had just if I got the map. Oh. I cannot believe I ducked into that shot. It's not the best layout for these enemies to be fighting them in, but hey. At least the layout does protect you from like two or three of them at a time. Got like, what? I can't see you. I'm right here, punk. I'm right here. Let's see what's in this. Probably nothing I want. But let's try it anyway. Ooh, more bombs. Oh, this room is awful. I hate it. Let's walk into this guy. I don't know how he didn't take damage there either. I'm asking myself that same thing. That's right. We'll run into you. And let Garden Angel and Meat Boy do their thing. I just picked up a red heart. Tony, it's reflex. You just do it. You just do it. I don't... That will take a spirit heart, so I don't want to do that. Okay, let's murder these things. There we go, that went well. To the boss. This is right here. Oh, death. I hate your face. 
I didn't actually mean to pop that, that was reflex. I meant to hold it until they're like 60s size on the screen, like now. And then shoot it. That's okay. This is going pretty well. Oh, well, it was going pretty well. Good, he's already split in half. That's excellent. I want to murder this guy. Oh, he's going to drop knights, it doesn't matter, because we can shoot through them. No, we won't get, kill this guy first, the uh, body, because he does, he shoots knights around. And knights are harder to hit than, you know, anything else going on in this room. Alright, give me something that takes one heart. Brimstone. Of course you're going to give me brimstone when I can't buy it. Alright, is there any way to get a heart on this floor? Don't care. Threw him to spirit anyway. Suppose it's like a 1 in 100 chance that that door disappears when you leave that room. But, you know, it did, so. Which basically all that means is that we won't be wasting your time looking for a arcade to spend money in, or to spend hearts in, in order to try to get a heart up. That is all that means. I found pills, so I don't care about that. Ooh, they're lined up for us. That's nice. Piercing shot does good things with enemies that are lined up. Got another charge for our book. What's in here? A health up. I needed this last time. I'm going to take it because I'm a glutton for punishment. Oh, I got a charge to our uh, books. So that's good. Hey, Loki, you just need to die in a fire. Try to keep some distance since we have a lump of coal. Come on, just die already. Die already. Okay, don't give me, like, the bloat. That's all I'm asking. Fantastic. This is exactly who I wanted to fight. Because this is who I want to fight every time I want to fight a boss. Oh, okay, good. I thought I got him out of it for a second there. Trying to back up some more than normal to give Lump of Coal some time to do some things. And he has obliged me by staying right there in the middle. That's very, very nice of him. I appreciate that a lot. Now his health gone, but he's still here. Good job for dying. I appreciate it. Here we go, another enemy that's good and we can shoot piercing shots through them. Their entire body just lights up. Not sure why he didn't charge me. Maybe he knew what was on store for him if he did. Maybe he knew what was coming. Alright, so we are now over what we consider full health since we're over, you know, 12 hearts, I think. So I believe we're at 13 hearts currently. Okay. If we could magically find like a nun's habit, I don't know how it can happen. That'd be amazing. All you guys need to die. I don't like anything anybody here is doing. Okay, good. Good, 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 okay. Woo! That was more stressful than it probably should have been. And the boss room. Is there any reason to fight anything else on this floor? I don't think so. I don't think so. Let's go talk to it lives. We will roll around, circle strafing all the things. Not doing much damage to anything apparently, because I don't know how to play this game. Okay, there we go. Pop our book. Put some distance and more distance. We always hang on the side to have you know room away from the enemies to fire, but now it's even more important because I'm cold. So I'm not sure how I think our chances are this run. I mean, our damage isn't high, but we do have piercing. So you know, if we can get a straight shot like this, our damage is really good. Our damage from all across the screen is good. I'm not sure how well that matters. I mean, her health is going down pretty good. If you, you know, just watch your health like right now, it's going down pretty good. Um, 
so we might be okay. Battery is absolutely helping us out with Book Revelations. Piercing shots are always going to help with, you know, things like knights, but those aren't really important long term. Because you don't tend to, you know, knights are not your problems in the cathedral and the chest. So, that doesn't really matter. Um, we have really high shot speed, which helps against regular enemies and hurts badly against Isaac. We have the battery, but not the nun's habit. So, you know, I think last time we had the battery and the nun's habit. We've got the 9 volt. We've got one of them. We have one of those recharge all the things items. So, I don't I don't know. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm not sure how I didn't get hit by that bomb. How are you not dead yet? There you go. Good job on dying. Good job on dying. And let us head up to the cathedral. Um, that's going to take a full heart. I don't want it. And I kind of do want to go in there just to see. Maybe it could, you know, vindicate us all and give us a knife. Give us the knife de la mom. Whoops, whoa now. I need to relax a little bit. Just calm down. Cool your roll. These are really, really good cathedral rooms, by the way. Um, this is actually also a really good cathedral room. I mean, as much as I hate greed, it's regular greed. And there's only one of him. Which is, I mean, sort of insane. After, you know, fighting the, ch the uh, chest that has, you know, 14 the mini boss enemies per room. Let's see what this is. Could it be the compass? It is not. It is a regular thing of nothing. Regular thing of nothing. Uh, this room is both, this layout's both good and bad for us helps us dodge, but also makes it hard to hit them. And it negates some of our um, distance advantage we have. Whoa. What is this? Health up. That's handy. That is nice. I'd have liked, of course, having... Oh, I don't like this. This is a really weird combination of enemies. Okay, so that didn't go as poorly as, as I thought it would. This might, though. We got the ball stream already, though, so we're good. Wow. Those guys pack a punch, don't they? So you can just, you know, set off several of them at one shot. So definitely no, no point in fighting the cathedral more. Let us go punch Isaac in the face. We have two rotating items, two orbitals, which will be good. And then with large orbitals, which I don't know if it matters, but I feel like it should if it doesn't. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna try to dodge some, but for the most part, we're gonna get hit. I mean, a lot. But our orbitals are gonna help us out an incredible amount. Since I've picked up two health ups, I haven't been holding on. I haven't been doing the whole. I mean, um, take. I haven't been not getting health so that our um, portal it would work. I mean, because you know. A couple extra hits. I'm not sure if that's. I don't know. It's probably close. If that's worth. If that's worth not having that health. Might be though. I don't know. It could have been a mistake and should have found a way to lose our health. Our red hearts, that is. We probably should have, actually, now that I'm thinking about it at a time when I shouldn't be thinking about such things. I should just be fighting Isaac. Piercing shot should help against these angels a lot. Because we can keep shooting at Isaac and hopefully shoot through. Oh, Angel, stop appearing right beside me. And also hit some angels every now and then. Come on, Angel. See if we can shoot that Angel and Isaac at the same time. Isaac, you just die already. I'm tired of you summoning angels every two seconds. So here's a case where our uh, damage is not great, so it's taken a while. That's okay, that went very well. We can see our health now. So that sucks a little bit. We, but we can barely see it, it's 11 hearts, so 
All right, let's see what's in here. All right, we have the luck foot, which is probably worthless for this. We have the magnet, which is probably worthless for this. We have the little chat, which is worthless for this. And we have the spider butt, um, which I suspect, which I would like to have, but not having, I mean, Having Blue Baby not be able to move, he already doesn't move, so I mean, you know. Oh my goodness gracious, Blue, why don't you just die already? Thank you, okay. I just need one of you to, okay, good grief, clear out of side of a room. Okay, I feel better now. Took a took a hit to my health, got, got some health back, so we're back even at 11 hearts. Um, you know, it's a chest. Anything that happened in the chest, there's never a case where I feel confident that we will be victorious or in the chest. Because at any point they could give you a room with like, you know, four little girdies in it. Or, you know, three bloats or something just ridiculous that makes no sense whatsoever. Two devils, you know. This room. And of course you see how fast Crazy Pants Lust is. Apparently we are fast, but she's cutting corners. Why are you cutting corners, Lust? I ain't got time for that. Okay. I'm not even sure which of these guys I want to kill last. I probably want to kill Sloth last, but... But so what? Kill, the one, kill what you can. That's the rule for the day. Who cares who actually dies last? But I do want to kill Sloth last, because he'll give us a Terra card that may be good. He could give us a Emperor card. That'd be excellent. He did not. He gave us the most useless card he could have given us, which was the Two of Diamonds. So we now have more money, but... Oh, okay. All right. I already hate this room. With piercing... Oh my goodness, that went way better than I was expecting it to. I was about to say, with piercing shots, this might not be too bad. And it wasn't. And I still managed to get hit in it. Would you... How did he live so much longer than his brothers did? I don't understand that at all. And in this room again. Well, with a greed and a troll bomby dude. Oh my goodness gracious, that could be very bad. This could be not our death, I don't think, but it could be the reason we end up dying because we lose half our health in this room. I've almost dodged into two greed shots now. So Troll Bomb Man is not the, my most concern. It's these shots from Greed here, of course. Okay, now. Now I feel better about things. This dude I can avoid if he's the only guy in the room. I like how he shot coin out of the wall and it came back. We are down to six hearts, which is atrocious. So we'll probably lose this run now. And that's wrong with the chest. Any, you know... More than any other floor, finding finding the ball stream early is important. You just have to. Oh my goodness. Alright, might as well kill Famine because he's right there. Not for any good reason. Of course, we're going to charge him forth at crazy people. Thank you, War, for pushing him out of the way a little bit. It's kind of you. I need to kill. Thank you. Where are you coming out? There you go. If you could just die for me, I would appreciate it. If you could stop doing that gibberish, I'd appreciate it too. Can I believe you hit me? He still got almost all of his life too. Look at that mess. Look at how high your life is. I don't understand. Did you just die already? All right, so we're back down to six. Back down to six. You gave me a worthless, worthless item. Uh, this could kill us. This could actually kill us. Um, it might not, because Devil Man over there is not throwing sides around like he could be. 
but patience is getting okay I think we're good but see but patience is definitely getting his groove on throwing I just got killed because I was able to, to get a heart uh look that's how it happens sometimes if I could kill off homeboy here I did not realize he was throwing that shot quite that close to himself oh thank you for killing the pony for me that's nice or maybe I killed him. It's just interesting luck that they have at the same time. I don't know. Whoa, dude. You all need to relax. Everybody relax. Smooth. Oh, you did not give me anything? I beat two Horsemen of the Apocalypse at one time. You gave me nothing. This is the wrong way. I'm going to be upset. This is the wrong way, and I think it is the wrong way. Alright, so we're down to four hearts. We cannot beat Blue Bay with four hearts three hearts. I can't do it. Um. Put it out there right now. I just... I do not have the skill level for it. And we went the wrong way. Oh, man. Alright. So we're probably going to make it two blue baby because, you know, hey, two hearts, one more hit we can actually take. Oh, no. Get away from me. <laughs> Oh wow. Crazy Gerties. Oh. And there we go. That was a fair successful run. We got to the chest with Aggie. Which is good. I consider, you know, I can definitely consider beating Isaac a successful run. So we didn't make it all the way through the chest. Hey, whatever. There's always next time. I ain't missed it. This has been a binding of Isaac. I will see you next video.